Chula Vista School District Papa. One ginger beer, two ginger beer, three ginger beer, four. Five ginger beer, six ginger beer, seven, seven ginger beer. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin, my dustbin. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin's full. Fish and chips with vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips with vinegar, pepper, pepper, pepper pot. So what exactly is ginger beer? Why am I singing about fish and chips? And why am I suddenly so hungry right now? All these answers and more in the music room. Can you join me? Hi, hi, Mr. Seligman here and welcome to the music room. So the song is called Ginger Beer and before anyone freaks out, ginger beer is not an adult drink. It's like root beer. Kids can drink it, teenagers, adults, anyone can drink it. Just, just don't give it to babies. That's a bad idea. Ginger beer is probably better compared to ginger ale. You know, like Canada Dry or Verner's. You might have tried it out. The biggest difference is that ginger beer has much more ginger in it. So it's much more of a ginger punch. The thing is, this song comes from England, and it's about the different kinds of foods that are relatively common over there, like ginger beer. Though, to be honest, I've been to England a couple times. I don't remember ginger beer being that prominent. Fish and chips are big though over there, kind of like they're big over on the east coast of America. The thing is, the chips over there are not the kind of chips that we have over here in the States. The chips over there are much more like soft fries that are big and oh, so delicious. And if you put some vinegar on the fried fish and chips, oh gosh, it's so good. And also, the thing that we call chips over here, over in England, they call crisps, which makes sense actually. And pepper pot, that's a kind of stew they have over there, which is made of fish, cinnamon, and oh, just a bunch of different great spices. Good stuff. Now I'm hungry. Great. Okay, cultural lesson aside, there are three parts of this song. We're going to learn it line by line. You ready? One ginger beer, two ginger beer, three ginger beer, four. Five ginger beer, six ginger beer, seven, seven ginger beer. Nice job. Let's do the whole section now. One ginger beer, two ginger beer, three ginger beer, four. Five ginger beer, six ginger beer, seven, seven ginger beer. Great. On to section two. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin, my dustbin. Nice job. Next line. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin's full. Awesome job. Now let's do all of section two. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin, my dustbin. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin's full. Great job. Go grab your magic mouse. Quick save. And section three. Fish and chips with vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Nice. Fish and chips with vinegar, pepper, pepper, pepper pot. Great job. All of section three. Fish and chips with vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips with vinegar, pepper, pepper, pepper pot. All right. Imagine a mouse, click save, and the whole thing all the way through. Section one, two, three. Are you ready? You can do it with me, with me this time. Ready and here we go. One ginger beer, two ginger beer, three ginger beer, four. Five ginger beer, six ginger beer, seven, seven ginger beer. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin, my dustbin. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin's full. Fish and chips with vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips with vinegar, pepper, pepper, pepper pot. Hey, it's 
Solid job there. All right, are you guys ready to level up? Level up! Great. Now this whole time I've had with me a glass of ginger beer, an empty glass, and two markers. Now, if you can, glass permission, if you can grab two empty glasses, we'll need another one later. And some sort of liquid, uh, maybe it could be a soda, it could be a water bottle, whatever kind of liquid you have. And also, you grab two pens or markers, okay? So right now, I just want you to copy what I do, okay? Now this time, what would happen if we filled the glass with liquid? As a reminder, I've always told you, the bigger the instrument, the lower it gets. So if I fill this empty glass with liquid, what would happen? You might want to fill it up. Not to the very top, but more than just a little bit. In case you didn't hear that, here's the empty glass. This is our filled glass. Here's the empty one. Did it go lower or higher? You're right, lower. Okay, so let's go try this out. Now that we have two pitches with us, Copy what I do. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna sing the song once again, except this time we're gonna strike first and only once the glass that's filled. Then twice after we're gonna strike the empty glass. We're going to create an ostinato, or something that repeats over and over and over again. Can you join me? One, two, three, ready, and one ginger beer, two ginger beer, three ginger beer, four, five ginger beer, six ginger beer, seven, seven ginger beer. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin, my dustbin. Can't put your muck in my dustbin, my dustbin's full. Fish and chips with vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips with vinegar, pepper, pepper, pepper pots. Hey, not that job. This week, what I want you to do is explore. Go listen to music, go sing music, add some asinati awesome to it. Or try hitting different things. Go add some asinato or some percussion or some sort of rhythm to it and see how you can embellish it. And if you can, go record it and send it to the email below so that I can see it. I would love to see what kind of things you guys experiment with. Now, I had a fun time and I hope you did too. But until next time, I hope you explore, experiment, sing, and I hope you have a wonderful week.